All right, everybody, uh, I'd like to welcome you to Get Known Everywhere using Gorilla Publicity. We have Jill Lublin with us today, a new presenter for us. We're very excited um, to uh, have her share her knowledge with us. Uh, first, I want to talk just a little bit about SCORE as we get going. Uh, SCORE does offer training in the form of workshops and webinars. Most are webinars, but we do have a few in-person workshops. I definitely encourage you to check out uh, our website or to look on the newsletter um, and, and see the new offerings we have for this year. We have a lot of new topics that we're excited to be bringing you. The most important thing that SCORE does, however, is it the mentoring. The mentoring is free and confidential. Our mentors are volunteers and they have experience and knowledge that they are looking to share with you. We work with small business owners in all different parts of the journey. We, we start with with those that are just thinking about starting a business. Is this the right move for me type questions to I need help starting a business plan to get my business going uh, to those that are already in business and maybe they need some helping with marketing or accounting or growth. Um, how do I strategically grow? So we work with everyone in, in all steps of the on that path. And you do not have to have a, a, a business license already to talk to a SCORE mentor. The first session for mentoring is often uh, a sharing of your goals and who, you know what you what you're trying what you're working to achieve and where you are in the process, uh, and the mentor will work with you to create a plan to achieve those goals. And you can work with that mentor as often as you like. Um, and sometimes other mentors are brought in uh, to answer questions um, in different parts as as your needs change along along the way. To get a mentor is very easy. You can put a note in chat. And I'll make sure the right chapter reaches out to you, or you can go to the chapter websites here. Uh, there are chapters nationwide. So certainly these are the ones in our district, but there are others out there. Uh, we'll put those in chat, like I said, so that you can look while you're there looking to how to for to sign up for a mentor. I also encourage you to check out that list of workshops, to check out our listing of recorded uh, webinars that we've already given. Uh, I also encourage you to look on the tools and templates library area. There's tons of blogs, short presentations, templates for you to use, all kinds of great information. So I strongly encouraging that for you. Um, I believe um, Mary Beth will be handling or helping watch chat for questions. Uh, so that will be handled in, in through chat instead of Q&A. Do you have a preference? Um, chat's great. Chat's great. Okay, good. Okay, great. I just wanted to double check that. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to turn it over to our presenters. And we're very excited to have them with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. I'm delighted to be here with all of you today and to support you um, and to be with you in the area of publicity. And um, so we're going to show you a little bit of my intro. I know we're posting it in the chat and super excited again to just be here with all of you. Um, with publicity, you know, I, I think it is so key uh, to really get yourself out there to blow your own horn <laughs> and to promote yourself so that even when you're blowing your own horn, if you feel like a kazoo in today's presentation, I'm gonna support you to have real meaningful PR strategies to get it done, my friends, to get it done in ways that are affordable and simple and connected. So just so you know, like Teresa said, I'll be, shall we say, pouring content into you and giving you great tips for how to create your PR simply, effectively, easily, and affordably. And then feel free, absolutely post your questions in the chat. And let's see how we can uh, get you out there. And before we do that, I also want to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. And for those of you watching later, the same, because love is good every day and the power of what publicity does is going to help people love you more 
and it's going to be attracting things to you. Now, uh, Teresa, I hope I'm I'm okay that people can also post in the chat answers to questions. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to do that. And I'll find out really quick by asking you, what do you think publicity does? Let me see it. Let me see it in the chat. What do you think publicity does for you? Post it in the chat. Love to see it. Yes, great. Oh, good. I can see it. That's so fabulous. Uh, Roseanne, you're saying it boosts your awareness and helps you be well known, Joanne. Absolutely, Laura. Increases your visibility. Robert expands your market. Todd builds your credibility. Yes. Megan gets you name recognition. You're all doing so great. Thank you. Don gets people to know about your services. Thank you. And gets you notice. Uh, Gagi, I think is how you say it. Amit. Uh, tells people what you have to offer and Vishali helps you become known. Nishita brands and leads, absolutely. Karen brings in more business. Customer acquisition PR, absolutely. Britt lets people know who you are and what you do. Positive image, Dan says. Alia, it helps people find you. Yes, please. And Robin keeps you accountable. There's so many and you are all hitting it. Please read the chat because Thank you for your um, participation because publicity does take participation and it does do all these things for you. In fact, let me show you a slide because we actually have created specifically what publicity does for you. One of which is return on investment. So my friends, look at the screen. Oh, we got to put it straight up. Makes you money, honey. <laughs> Absolutely, because publicity gets you high ROI. It gives you prospects and more sales and gets you increased trust in the marketplace and more credibility and more visibility and more clients. Makes you more money. Yes, makes you more money. Gives you ability to save money because you're not doing expensive things like uh, Facebook ads and other things. And it gets you more exposure in the marketplace. And I only mean the good kind. So you all hit it so fast with your wonderful um, what publicity does. Thank you for that. And uh, can I just see, give me a thumbs up in the chat or a woohoo in the chat if you like M&Ms, come on. Do you like M&Ms? Let me see it. Let me see it in the chat. Do you like M&Ms? Yes, yes. Woohoo. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. Well, me too. And I love the peanut kind. Um, and I don't ever care what color they are. What I love is, um, hey, M&Ms. But you know, what's cool about publicity is it gives you the three M's, which is to magnetize you, to monetize you and to multiply you. That's, you know, I love publicity because it's an attraction factor to look at the pretty screen, elevate your star in the way that's meaningful and wonderful to you and for you because publicity gives you influence and impact. Yes. And that, my friends, is important to have influence and impact. And what that creates is people coming to you, right? In simple, easy ways. Now I brought y'all flowers. I know you're in Boston, but I brought, and by the way, I lived in Boston for um, almost uh, two years, actually loved it and a uh, wonderful town. So, you know, I figured I'm in San Francisco though. I'm gonna bring you flowers from San Francisco because I want you to plant your publicity garden. And I want you to plant your seeds now, and we'll go through some great ways to do that. And then for three, six, and nine months ahead, you know, because the reality is publicity is an evolving process, yes? And some things that work right now may not work nine months from now and vice versa. And then especially when you wanna get into magazines, you wanna be planning ahead. You know, so that's really a key. So I want you always to, you know, expand your mind about what publicity is, because publicity happens, my friends, from the minute you walk into a Zoom room or out your door or out for coffee. Guess what? You are always representing your brand, your image, and having people be attracted to you. And then 
the message that we create, the power of your publicity, getting in the media, whether it be podcasts or blogs, whether it be um, radio, TV, whether it be newspapers or magazines, it's all publicity. So are your Instagram lives and your Facebook lives and your LinkedIn lives and anything else that you're live with, that's publicity. So I wanna give you a great formula for getting a great uh, publicity piece going that's simple and easy. And the first thing is, before my cat walks across my keyboard, hang on, <laughs> come on, baby. That's miracle, that's my cat. The first thing is, is that it's all about your message. Do me a favor, post in the chat, please. What's the first word, uh, first two letters of message? Post it in the chat. What are the first two letters of message? Me, Erica. Yes, thank you, Christy. Yes, Joanne. You got it, Roseanne. Thank you, Dan. Sheila, perfect. The first, thank you, Lori and Robert. Yes, yes. In the word message is me. Gold stars to all of you who answered, maybe even who I didn't name, all of you deserve a gold star because you're the power of your message. You, it's all about you. And then tell me, what are the last four letters of the word message? Go ahead, post it in the chat. Last four letters of the word message is do, 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 sage. You got it, Joanne, Todd, and Roseanne. Thank you. Beautiful, Karen. Appreciate it. Thank you. Go, 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 go. You got it. Superstars, all of you, because in the word message is me, sage. Isn't that interesting? Now, in the word message is also mess. And my friends, you are going to avoid that today because I've created a very simple formula for you that um, creates an opportunity to get a message out that's simple and easy. And that is because you're an expert. Remember, sages, you're an expert. And guess what the media needs? Experts just like you. Experts who are good top in your fields. And this is the thing, oh experts, you, you solve problems. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna fill in this blank. The problem today is four out of five businesses will go out of business because you have no clue how to create publicity without spending a fortune. That's an example of what I would say <clears throat> because I help you solve the problem of publicity and getting more of it, yes? And then my friends, you are going to fill in the blank for you of whatever is appropriate. So with that, let's, let's look deeper because experts who solve problems, then you give <clears throat> solutions, right? That's the opposite of problems. Give people solutions, real things to do. So I want you to start using you language because here's what I noticed. I was on a networking event yesterday and I heard somebody do their intro and she said, well, I help them. You know, she was talking about working with women to help them lose weight. And she said, I help them to lose weight. And I thought, well, I guess that ain't me. You know what I'm saying? So use you language because when you're being interviewed in media, if you use you language, people feel like you're talking to them. Very powerful in both your intros as well as media interviews. This is a great strategy that quickly shifts how people feel connected to you. And so what I would do is give solutions, right? So I said, the problem today is four out of five businesses will go out of business because you have no clue how to create publicity without spending a fortune. Then my friends give people three solutions. So listen to mine and pay attention because there's thousands of dollars of PR advice I'm gonna drop right in here for you right now, okay? So I would say the first way to get notice is to create your ooh, ah factor. The second way is to create the I've heard of you somewhere syndrome. And the third way is focus on networking magic and show up in your community for name and face recognition. Now, my friends, what did I do? Post it in the chat. I wanna see, I wanna hear from you. What did I do? Mary Beth put it right in the chat so you can read it again. Tell me. What did I do in, the, in my message? I wanna hear it. And uh, one of the things I wanna share and write this down, you always wanna be dripping gold. Yes, you wanna be always dripping gold. Brought it up to a personal level, thank you. 
Roseanne and Christy, lots of you and your, absolutely, you got it. Yes, thank you. What else did I do in my message? I used statistics, let me say that. Yes, thank you. I kept it in very simple language, Todd, solutions to problems. Yes, exactly what I'm telling you to do, thank you. I gave you three simple steps, absolutely, Roseanne. I like power of three because what it does is it keeps things simple and in language that keeps things easy. Karen, I did make it sound easy because it is easy following my system, I promise you. And the first part of that system is your message, right? And I gave action to readers, absolutely, Britt, thank you. And, um, and the point is that when we give specific actionable steps, Erica, right, then, then you want to know, how do I make this happen? You got it. Absolutely. So here's the other things. Thank you. You're all hitting nails on the head. I love that. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, let me, let me clap for you. <laughs> you got it. Because this is the thing. By keeping things really simple and doing it in five-year-old language, using new language and telling people what to do, Mary Beth, write the words, drip your gold, because you want to drip your gold. In other words, give people real things to do. Make them go, ooh, what's Jill talking about on that ooh, ah factor? You know, what she mean about? In fact, that's what I want you to hear. So, so take this for you. And let's look at, you know, in your own message, what can you do? So let's talk about one of those things. And by the way, go like this, even if you're even if you're alone, nobody will see it. <laughs> go like this, pretend you're eating that Valentine's Day chocolate. And uh, here's what I want you to do. I want you to come up with and, and speak in sound bites, like five-year-old language that is simple and easy to remember. So one of my sound bites is to create your ooh, ah factor, right? What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is to use everything you've got. Yes, everything you've got. I remember, uh, uh, well, I'll tell you a few stories. One of, one of the women who um, was building her digital marketing agency and came to my publicity crash course and I looked across the Zoom room and I said, um, may I ask you what your ethnicity is? We were working on this using everything you've got and going deep on that. And she says, um, she, uh, she says, I'm Filipino. I said, great. Would you be willing? I know you came in here to build your digital marketing agency. Great thing for you to do as in publicity. Would you be willing to use everything you've got and go out to stop, talk about hashtag stop Asian hate? She said, absolutely, I will. I said, great. Well, you know what? By doing that, my friends, and not getting stuck in, well, this is what I do. This is my business. That's using everything you've got. Her ooh, ah factor, because she was able to reach uh, a larger business community. Um, guess what happened? She got one of, the, uh, one of the recognitions, a big honor, as the top 30 under 30 Filipino businesses, meaning she was 28 at the time, she's now 30. And you know what, guess what? That got her 12, uh, 12, was it prospects? Yes, 12 prospects that week, 10 of which became real clients. She got a major speaking engagement, which she'd been wanting to do speaking for a long time. Her web stamps went up by about 40%, you know? I mean, how exciting is this? And let me just share with you that that top 30 under 30 Filipino businesses was an honor that and a publicity privilege that she can use forever and ever. I don't care if she's 40, 50, or 60, she can always bring that back. Because see, publicity is a gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> and once you get it, the beautiful thing is you can keep using it again, again, and again. And it's that's what's powerful, right? So you want to use everything you've got. Can we show them about Ryan? Uh, I want to show you a client, Ryan. I've been giving a speech somewhere, and Ryan came running up to me. He goes, Jill, I really want to work with you. And I'm like, great, Ryan. What do you do? He says, well, I'm a I'm an instructional engineer, and uh, and he helps you know people create manuals for for instructional learning. And I'm like. To be honest, I don't know what you're talking about, but that's super cool. But the truth is, it's not going to get you PR. And I know you want PR to build your business, to get more clients, to get more prospects, 
tell me your story. Ryan told me that he'd been downsized from a corporate job. He told me that he had just bought a big house and that his wife was pregnant with their third child on the way. So he had two children already, fairly young. She's got one more coming soon. And he just got fired. I'm like, oh, oh, this doesn't sound exactly like a dream moment. I said, Ryan, what did you do? He said, well, I, you know, thought about what I could do. And I immediately got online. And guess what? I uh, created a, well, an opportunity for people to do instructional design in eight different counties and all at once. I said, super great. And I remember looking at him and I said, Ryan, you know what you are? You are a virtual office warrior. Now do me a favor with that, him being a virtual office warrior, put in the chat, what is the acronym for a virtual office warrior? Let me see it, put it in the chat. Go ahead, I'll wait for a moment. Acronym for virtual office warrior, Joanne, ding, ding, ding. Yes, Christy, thank you, Erica, you got it. He took a vow never to work in an office again. Do you know that story? Look on that screen. This is the front page of the San Francisco Business Times. It could be, you know, everywhere you are, right? The, the front page of the business journal in Boston, right? It's all good. And what does it say? When fired, you too can vow not to work in an office again. We hit the nail on the head, my friends. We found a message that works. And in fact, it works so well. Not only did he get, look at this, in the front page of the San Francisco Business uh, and uh, San Francisco Business Times, but look where else he got. Mac Home Journal, right? And I remember Ryan, we laughed because he goes, Jill, I don't even have a Mac. Who cares <laughs> what he's got? What he's got is a good story. Right? And then look at Entrepreneur Magazine. Would it be good for you, thumbs up, yes, to get an Entrepreneur Magazine or Home Office Computing or any of your business journals? Well, let me share with you, that's the power of publicity, okay? And in fact, his PR results got him featured in major national magazines, radio newspapers, and his business revenues increased over 40% using publicity marketing strategies. In fact, my friends, one placement in the Chinese Times, this is called use everything you've got. One placement in the Chinese Times resulted in over $7,000 in consulting business, right? Wow, wow for that. Can you imagine? And I hope this is making sense to you because Ryan launched his business literally from zero and laid off to a thriving consulting business using the power of publicity. That's why I love this. And to be powerful with your message is key. Now, let me show you the next piece of this. Go ahead, next. Because when we're talking about hot topics, and take a picture of this screen, because I want you to see, we've done some research, and I want you to see the very things that, well, people are talking about. Now, I don't have to read them to you. You can read them by yourself. Please do, because I want you to see there are a lot of great hot topics right now. In fact, on the activism one, let me give you another great example. I was working with a woman, she's a communications coach, and we were doing a great story, came up with a, a great message about how to communicate effectively in business. And when Black Lives Matter, you know, uh, came, came out, I said to her, forget everything we're doing. You know, this is what is important to talk about now. I want you to talk about how to be a strong black woman in today's times and communicate effectively. Wow, that changed everything for her, literally getting her 14 media interviews that week, my friends, talking about that. We were doing great with the other piece too. So I guarantee you're gonna love these PR strategies and literally start attracting free new business guaranteed. And part of this is pushing the right button. So if you're a coach, a consultant, you're in business for yourself in any way, you've got products or services. Let me just tell you the bottom one with the great resignation and quiet quitting, you, my friends, are, you know, let me say positioned to talk about that because you're in business for yourself because you're an expert. You see where I'm going with this? Now, do me a favor. I'd like you to put in the chat right now like as you're looking at these topics, 
Which ones could you talk to or about? Let's see it. Go ahead, please. Which ones could you see it? Talk it about. Transformation, thank you. Mental health, weight loss, Roseanne, excellent. Dawn, mental health and women's issues, thank you. Amit, money. Dana, mindset and real estate. Gao Gian, I apologize if I'm doing your name wrong. Consulting, Melissa, activism, excellent. Laura, the first three. Yes, good, all of them, I love that. Erica, um, and at least activism, and Trisha, health and mental. Dana, consultants too, absolutely. Good. Good, Jasmine and mental health coaching and mindset, perfect. Lori, goals, real estate and consulting. By the way, if I say your name's wrong, I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> Please forgive me. Uh, so hopefully we got it right here. But um, beautiful, I love this, thank you. Because you know, here's the thing, in different times, different pieces will work. Remember, I talked to you about planting your flowers here, right? And that is plant your flowers now so maybe you'll see something now but benedict you're saying you got something education yes it is hot when we're celebrating national education day or something related to that maybe in six or nine months from now right and robert thank you the great resignation and quiet quitting so i want you again stretch your mind right karen's talking about consulting for coaching and mentoring teens then there's maybe teen awareness month and you want to be focused on that so as i'm showing you these hot topics and thank you for showing me in the chat some of the ways you can fit into these i also want you looking ahead and go well let's see national teen awareness month is this date or you know, education month, I'm just making these things up, but there are different times, Lori, this first three months of the year, we didn't wanna focus on goals, right? And yes, there are real estate editors across the nation. And then we've got you know, uh, health and wellness and mental, um, mental awareness month, different times. So you're gonna start looking these things up and I'm gonna give you exactly how to do this in what I like to call visibility building activities so here's the thing about publicity it ha it's happening all the time whether you're aware of it or not and of course getting that those interviews and getting more options happening for you gives you the opportunity to get seen and heard and build your visibility and you know what publicity does it gets you seen it gets you heard and it gets you paid yes we love that Give me a woohoo in the chat. Get you seen, get you heard, and get you paid. Woohoo! Yes, we love that. Thank you, Joanne. Love that. Yes, I even got pom poms for the occasion, but there's someplace else. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Um, so here's some great things to build your visibility. And one is you're doing right now with SCORE, who's such a wonderful organization to bring you together. Please participate in SCORE as much as you can. They're just incredible for what they bring to you. And part of that is the networking. Even in this environment, you can network. So I want you to network in your community. I want you to follow reporters on social media. They hang out wherever you hang out. It could be LinkedIn, it could be, um, uh, it could be Facebook, it's wherever you are, lots on Twitter for sure. And then I want you to sign up for Google Alerts. And Roseanne, in terms of the, the words, number one, I want your name. Mary Beth's about to post in the chat a little, um, shall we say, quick tutorial for how to get there. And um, so I want your name plus maybe one word about something you teach about or consult about or your product solves, right? So in my case, you know, I put out a book called The Profit of Kindness. We have the word kindness in Google Alerts. That alerted me to World Kindness Day in November. Um, so that's a key, right? And of course, I'm a publicity expert for guerrilla publicity. And so we have the word publicity. Um, so I also want you to sign up for nationaldaycalendar.com because that will show you ways that you can get into the calendar uh, and use holidays that might support whatever you're talking about. So Mary Beth did post in the chat, you've got a link to both National Day Calendar and Google Alerts, both free. Do that immediately. 
and get creative for what fits for you in what you do. And then I'd love you to go to iTunes and type in, a, again, a keyword, maybe just business, right? And then you'll see all the business podcasts. You'll see same thing on Blog Talk Radio, the business radio shows. And then I love helpareporter.com. Again, completely free. What's super cool about this is um, actual, actual reporters in all kinds of industries, TV, radio, magazines, newspapers, blogs, et cetera, they're looking for you and they put out queries, it's called a query, and you answer them. Now, let me tell you how powerful this is, that one of the clients in my Publicity Breakthrough Bootcamp is a financial advisor. And yeah, there are compliance issues and other things, but there are lots of ways around them. One of them that he did was to use everything he's got because, well, his wife had breast cancer. And um, one of the things he said is, listen, I really didn't know what to do. And he got a blog post in helpareporter.com about his wife's breast cancer, which was talking about how he felt a little helpless and what to do, drove people to his website, increased his web visits by 37%, was featured in one blog just from that, right? One blog talking about something unrelated to his business, but personal and important to him. That's called use everything you've got. Let me tell you, my friends, he got nine prospects, six of whom became his clients that week. Now that's the power of publicity to get you seen, get you heard and get you paid. So excited. You see why I love this? It's powerful and it works. Now, let me show you, um, if I may, what we did with the profit of kindness. So you're looking at uh, the publicity. That's the bottom of the slide. That's literally a third of some of the publicity I got when we started and literally got on seven Fox News interviews, TV interviews in the first week, and CBS News Morning uh, out of Virginia, and Inc. Magazine twice, and Forbes Magazine twice, and so much more. And let me share with you the reason why, because we pushed the right button. I'm pushing the button here. We pushed the right button, which is what I'm, well, telling you to do. And so as much as, you know, Listen, most of my clients don't have books. You don't have to book, have a book to do publicity. You got to have a business. You got to have a thought to have a business. You got to be at different levels in your business. Doesn't matter if you're starting, if you're 20 years in, right? Um, all of it's good to do publicity with where you're at right now, remembering that it's an evolutionary process and you take steps. See the little foot? Hang on, got to get the little foot. See the little foot? You take steps in the right direction, in the right direction way using systems and processes. So one of the things I gave you was a system for doing your message. You're going to do that every 30 days, my friends. Every 30 days, you're going to look at your message and you're going to think about what's next. All right. So what was next for me was putting out a message about the divided states of America. And that's what hit the nail on the head for the right message that works. And so with that, I, well, frankly, was inspired to do a kindness circle. We actually come together every month and we create kindness together. And I wanna invite all of you as my guest to our wonderful kindness circles. We have one tomorrow, but we have them also once a month. You are invited. Mary Beth is posting it in the chat, jilllublin.com slash kindness circles. Please come and be our guest and, well, keep spreading kindness because the point about being out there is that um, connect the connectivity of your message to the mind of your prospects, as well as the, well, since it's Valentine's Day, I'll say this, to the hearts of your clients, yes? And that I think is really a key is that we want to keep connected to that and you want to be um, congruent in your message and resonant with what you say. And I also want you to be flexible with the power of your message so that your message continues to impact others, right? Because I think 
Can you imagine with publicity, if all this did was give you one more new client every single month, would this be worth it? Yes. <laughs> yes, it would be. I want to share with you, when I was writing Guerrilla Publicity, I interviewed media from around the world, one of whom was Entrepreneur Magazine. And Entrepreneur Magazine said to share with you a couple things. So we put them on the slide, but I want to talk about the last two parts, which is, um, remember I was telling you, plant your seeds, got to get those flowers again, hang on, plant those seeds three, six, nine months ahead. Well, she told me, the editor of Entrepreneur Magazine, imagine this, my friends, you and Entrepreneur Magazine, that the production for the June issue is March, that the writer's deadline for the June issue is January 15th. That's looking ahead, isn't it? Now, with that, I think that's great evidence for the fact of what you need moving ahead, right? So that you can, wait, I got the froggy, leap ahead. Can you see the frog? I think you can. <laughs> leap ahead. There it is. Leap ahead of your competition. And part of that is being prepared with smart messages that make a difference that you review, remember, every 30 days and make sure that you're on track plus planning ahead. Now, here's, here's my final point, and then I'm going to go to some questions. So um, start posting those questions in the chat. We love that. And uh, one of the things I want to say is you, my friends, no matter what the media asks you, you got to say yes. I made a sign for it. You got to say yes. Just say yes to the media. That's what's going to get you ongoing visibility quickly, effectively, and easily. So I'm super excited about that. I also want to tell you, um, before I take questions, uh, we're going to post in the chat the way that you can connect to me. We're going to post in the chat. I have a fun publicity challenge that's really simple and um, a great way to get focused more on your publicity with simple things to do. And uh, those will post in the chat right there for the opportunity to help you. And I'm super excited to take your questions and see how I can support you. And I think uh, Mary Beth, you can just post it in chat versus the slide is great, I think. That's perfect. And with that, my friends, let's open it up for questions. Who's got it? And oh, you know what? I think I actually saw Mary Beth, there was one in the other chat. Would you be so kind to read, read that to me? Well. Yes, in Q and A, uh, Guadia said, "How can we? How do we use our name to gain recognitions?" My name is Kong, and I got the wrong message all the time as a man. Okay, so Kong, just with that name, I, you know, I don't know what ethnicity you are, but one of the things I'd like to do is um, encourage you to uh, utilize that visibility building tool, right? Like I told you about Ryan Yi using Chinese American and different, you know, we have International Women's Day coming up if you're a woman, etc. Let's think about what can you use everything you've got. And managing your message is bigger than, you know, I, I'm certainly happy to talk to you a little more offline about this, um, because it's a question of what do you really do? How can we take your message and integrate it? And then again, uh, one of the systems, and I'm big on systems for your visibility. And in, in fact, you know, we're going to go through systems to do that. And so with that, um, I just want to say to you, we want visibility building activities consistently and persistently, and then manage your message for what works in the media based on some of the things I was talking to you about today, holidays, what you're offering, all that good stuff. So I think that that's really a key. Okay, go ahead, Mary Beth. Hopefully that helps, Con. Okay, the next question in Q&A is from Robert. Who are the people to contact at newspapers, magazines, television, radio, reporters, producers? Okay, so thank you. And that varies a bit based on each medium. Okay, so let's take TV and radio first. Uh, you want producers. They're called producers. There's the morning news producers. There's the evening news producers. Um, there's assignment editors in television, and they send out the cameras, okay? 
on um, magazines, let's say, I don't like you to send out to the editor at large, or they might call it a general editor <clears throat> or an editor at large. Don't. Too much, too many, too, it, it doesn't work. Um, so I would like you to um, be connected to more of your, uh, shall we say, basic missions. Like, let's say you're in real estate. I know someone here was putting that. You want real estate editors at daily newspapers across the country, right? You want to hit as many as you can, as often as you can. And that makes a big, big difference. Um, so in, in newspapers, you want to be specific if you're in lifestyle, if you're in medical, if you're in real estate, if you're in business, that's the difference, okay? So you want to identify per topic, I'll call it, per topic. And then there's always, um, you can just always hit up the business or small business editor is really, really good. So daily papers is editors focused on your topic. Radio and television is producers typically, um, as well as maybe a morning show. Like in Sacramento, near where I am, we have Good Day Sacramento. You, I'm sure, have something, I'll call it Good Day Boston, but you have something similar in your marketplace, okay? Something similar. And so radio, TV, newspapers, magazines, we do them somewhat separately um, based on that. And I hope that helps you. Oh, okay, sorry, dropping my props here. <laughs> okay, Mary Beth, what else we have? Okay, in chat, uh, Dan, Dan DeFrancia asked, how can I attract travel writers to see or visit and write about my bed and breakfast? Ah, nice. Um, so great, here's the good news. You're very focused with your message. It's called travel writers. It's called travel, you know? So there are travel podcasts, there are travel magazines, there are travel blogs. And then I'd focus on travel editors across the nation and zoom in on those in particular in daily papers. Cause you know, let's face it, if you're in the New York Times talking about your bread and breakfast, which by the way, they would probably um, put it with other art, with other bed and breakfast, all good, right? And uh, do what's called a roundup article where they're, let's say, talking about bed and breakfast. So you want to hit up the travel editor, I'll just say New York Times, Boston Globe, et cetera, all across the nation. And that's a great way to do it. And let me just share with you all that, you know, I started my career in the music business and we actually um, sold out Carnegie Hall before we ever got there with our artists and this was an independent record label and we didn't have a big budget. And did I mention independent record label with no budget? Let me just say the reason we sold out Carnegie Hall is we got in with the music editor at the Boston Globe and the New York Times and, and everybody converged on Carnegie Hall and sold it out. That was the power of publicity. And then I know if I make Christine, I, cause I can actually read that one, where do you find the name of editors? and producers, um, I'll tell you, when you're doing a local search, Google's gonna be great because honestly, in your market, you're gonna have, I'll call them eight, let's say eight. And what do I mean by that? ABC, NBC, CBS, radio and television, let's call that six, plus a morning show, plus your local paper, plus your um, business journal, because you're all business people, so I wanna encourage you to be in the business journal, and Fox News, so that's probably 10. That's 10, 10 good ones, right? Of media in your local market. And then create that as your, um, your marketplace list. Now, sometimes, believe it or not, your local Chamber of Commerce score might have it, I don't know. But sometimes your particularly Chambers of Commerce have media lists locally. So check with them. And there are often sources for that. Um, and then Mary Beth, would you post our uh, contact we have a contact, a colleague who creates media lists for you. It's $300 and you pay him and say, I want all the, I'll just make this up, health editors across the nation and he'll pull that list for you. So I think that's a really reasonable thing to do too. Okay, so I think that that's really important. And um, Christine, on the same thing about journalists being overwhelmed, um, let me just say they are, but here's the truth. They need you. They need you and they know that because you're the source excellent what else mary beth 
Uh, Karen Griffin asked, uh, hi, Jill, what do you think about social media like Instagram and Facebook business and how often should you be posting? Okay, great. And Christine, hang on. I, I got to name one other thing I just forgot to say there about them being overwhelmed. And yes, they need you. But here's the thing. In guerrilla publicity, we actually talk about the rule of seven. What does that mean? Reach out to them probably seven times about every other day, every other day. So you want to be a terrier, not a bulldog, but a terrier, nipping at their heels and letting them know you exist. And follow-up is key. So I like seven times, maybe one by email, then pick up the phone. Hey, this is Christine and I'm calling you about. Or, and then do it by email and rotate it, okay? So I think that's really good. And Mary Beth, I'm sorry, what was the name of the next person's questions? Karen. Karen, hi, Karen. Okay, so um, here's the thing. Uh, using my... Uh, publicity that I've been teaching you here today and the tips for this. Um, one of the things I notice is that um, if you do the message on your social media, you're going to get results. In other words, use that message for me, I taught you, and then post it on your social media. But here's the thing, please, please, pretty please, do not use social media as your excuse for having done your publicity. It's not, my friends. It's not. Your publicity is getting in media. That could be blogs and podcasts. That could be absolutely your LinkedIn, your Facebook, your, your all, the, all the social media avenues of getting your name out there. I'm good with that. Yes, consider that publicity if you do the interviews, if you do the videos live, we're good with that. Um, and don't let it replace publicity because publicity, I promise you, is gonna last a lot longer like I said earlier, it's the gift that keeps on giving. It's leverage that you can use ongoingly and consistently to get your name out there. So it's an and conversation, not a, not a just one. Okay, beautiful. Let's go on that. Okay, so that sounds like you answer, also answered Lurie's question, should I focus more on social media and not mainstream media? Yes, thank you. And we answered that question. And um I, I would, and when I say mainstream media, I'm including podcasts, which you know some people wouldn't exactly call mainstream media, but I think it is. And um, you know, it's it's great to be on podcasts. Start small, start anywhere you can, my friends, because all experience is good experience, and all you need even is one podcast, and then you send that out to potential prospects, to your clients, and all of a sudden you're you're elevated in their mind because you're the authority who's paid and who's known and who's seen. And that puts you way ahead of anybody else who does anything similar to what you do. Okay. okay. We have an anonymous question in q and I've gotten a fair amount of publicity over the years, but I'm not always able to translate, translate that into more business. I work in the event business and can use more event sponsors. What advice do you have for sealing the deal? Hmm. So first of all, congratulations on the publicity. I'm betting just a feeling that maybe you aren't leveraging it appropriately because what I see, and I listen, I worked with an event planner, actually a couple of them now in the area of publicity. And we got articles placed about how to throw a great Thanksgiving and you know what to do at the, at the office party and different things that we made new, um, new topics out of. Um, and they increase their business um, I'm trying to remember exactly. I don't have it right off the top of my head, but let me just say it was influential in increasing their business and they were locally based uh, in you know, one city. So the, the reality is that um, with your publicity, that's gonna help you attract sponsors. But I want you to uh, position yourself a little stronger. I just suspect if I were to guess that maybe you could um, forefront your publicity a little more. Um, make a slide deck that's really impressive, sponsors like that. Make a sizzle reel that makes you look great with all your publicity logos flying at them. They love that, even small and large. So I think up-leveling how you're seen would, would really serve you. And um, Mary Beth, I see somebody's asking about one more time for using the formula, everything you've got at different times. 
Um, so I don't know, maybe you can post that in the chat would be great. Okay. Um, our next question is from Robert in q and A. I I am a marketing consultant. What are some topics that I could talk about that might be of interest to newspapers, magazines, television, and radio? Well, how about how to market your business in a new economy? I mean, listen, my friends, this is a new world. We all know this. Here's the good news. You can reach so many more people. I do my publicity crash course on Zoom every month. You know, I used to fly to places, rent expensive hotel rooms in New York City and other places. We don't have to, I don't have to do that anymore. And I can serve people so much more effectively at far less cost. That's good marketing, right? And so you want to look at um, how what business businesses can do and as a marketing consultant i'm sure you have some good tips and i would even write an article right even write an article so that we can um so that we can officially and conservatively get the opportunity to you know help people so articles are really good i would do 500 words 500 words and then post them. Mary Beth, can you give the two resources of medium.com and um, easing articles, two places they can post articles? Somebody's saying the chat is disabled. Maybe somebody can look at that. Okay. Yeah, there's, I, that wasn't intentional. I have no way of enabling it at this point. And I'm sorry for that, but we'll see if we can't get that information out to people after the fact. Oh, that's super. Thank you so much. Okay, and Christine about being 40 years in business, right? Um, and and I would just say, you know, one of the things I, I do is depending on people's, listen, I have a 80 year old client. We're talking about all of her previous success and some of her glorious uh, accomplishments and how to be effective at any age is, is fun stories, right? And I think that that's really important. Um, and to know, my friends, that all the publicity you've gotten, you need to keep leveraging. You bring it forth. You do new things. You bring it forth. But I think the power of stating that you've been seen and heard, believe me, it's going to put you ahead, I promise, of most of the people in your, um, in your business, in your field. And I think that that's major. Mary Beth, the other questions? Yes, uh, Jennifer Foley says, what's the best way to get my ice cream shop recognition locally? Press releases to local newspapers, interview with a radio station, and a follow-up question is, where would she, where would she block? Is that blog, is that on her website? <clears throat> yes, uh, usually I want you always to tie your blog to your website. When you go on jilllublin.com, you will see my blogs. You will see lists of them. And, you know, interestingly enough, like I'll just share with you, we just sent out a press release because Friday is Random Acts of Kindness Day, right? We got listed in how many places? 186, Mary Beth, using a press release, I think, yeah, 186 places with new logos I can use using a press release distribution service through Dan, and I paid for it. Um, but, you know, I want guarantee results. So you can do things like that. Um, and good news is when you're a local business, here's what I do. I Now, first of all, I know there is National Ice Cream Day. I do. And I don't remember when it is, but I want you to go look that up with um, on nationaldaycalendar.com. Find out when National Ice Cream Day is and you have a party in your store, number one. Number two, so that if it's coming soon, and I don't know, but if it's coming soon, I would make that the feature. I would invite all the media there and here's a super cool strategy. You can do this whether it's National Ice Cream Day or not. If you have a, a, um, a location, all of a sudden I forgot what they're called, when you're actually at a physical location. What is that called? Do you remember? Like when you have a physical location. But yeah, like an on, an on location spotlight. Yeah, well, brick and mortar, that's the words I'm looking for. When you have a brick and mortar business, thank you, Christy. Um, when you have a brick and mortar business, there's, there's at uh, TV stations, they're called remote locations, right? And so sometimes the weather and the sports can be done at your ice cream store. And they will actually come to your remote location. 
and do that. And the other thing I'd look at is being like a sponsor of something. It doesn't really cost a lot through through your local TV and radio and, and say that your ice cream store is sponsoring, you know, an event or um, something like that. But I think particularly the remote location idea is your best one where you're inviting them to do the weather or sports at your store. <laughs> that's that's really fun. And I think we have time for maybe two more. Okay, Joanna Burke Sherman asks, how often should you share podcasts on social media? How often if you've only done one? And did you say share this with media? Yes, I said, I said, um, well, number one, share it everywhere you can, absolutely, on social media and to your clients and to your prospects. You should maybe put it in your signature line. That's publicity with a link right to it. And it's okay that it's only one. You start where you start. Remember the part? Here's the foot. Little baby steps. Every step matters. All right, let's do one more question. Okay. How important is a tagline? My business is wayfinding, which means helping folks navigate complicated places. Company name is 96 Point LLC. 96 Points is a large type because our work spans print and architectural applications. And our tagline is think, is think, design, deliver. Too vague? Well, first of all, I like Think, Design, Deliver. I've worked with architectural firms and a printing agency, by the way. And one of the things that I like to zoom in on is um, how to look good in print is really a fun, you know, more uh, interesting. You know, think about an average business person. What do we need? What do we need, right? Always thinking your customer. It's a bit, honestly, a little bit heady. Um, for what you're putting out there, but I do like the tagline. And what I'd encourage you to do is think about what do your customers need? What's their pain point? And that's what to publicize. And most people want to look better in print, want to understand how to, and then fill in the blank. This is for all of you. People want more how to's. And that's what you give them, right? How to, et cetera. And think about if you were to write an article, here's three things you can do and then fill that blank in. Keep it really simple, and that will help you a lot. Really simple. But I think I think you're on to something there. I do like the tagline. Um, just simplify the other pieces. You'll be much better. And um, I want to just thank all of you. I want to thank you for the opportunity to be here with you. I hope that I, shall we say, Flip the switch. <laughs> yes, I took this off the wall. Flip the switch for how you look at publicity, for how you see yourselves out there, for the opportunity to say yes to media and yes to yourself, my friends, because here's the deal. Your message matters and publicity is going to take you there. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the news. <laughs> thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jill. Thank you. Thank You're you everyone so for joining us.